Well, I am very excited. We have moved our position now, and we are in the Nathan Church House, which was moved uh, last year from up on North High Street down to the back side of Main Street, uh, where the, the main campus is. So this is going to make a really amazing museum right in downtown Bridgeton. So I am with Beth Cossey and with Margaret Sanborn, and we're going to be talking about what this is behind us. It kind of looks like a bunch of boards pounded on the wall, but there's something very exciting going on right here. Beth, tell us about it. Well, the house moved. And we were so excited. The boarding is to protect the beautiful murals behind it. So we are waiting until the house settles and everything's ready. And then we'll go ahead and take off those boards and see what's underneath. And it's been an exciting adventure for all of us to see this house come down here. And, and uh, I wonder what Nathan Church would think now that we've got his house down here on Church Street. Nathan Another church, church on Church Street. Yes, and the church is right at the top of the hill, and mm -hmm. he was the first was minister the first of that minister. church. Well, this was his parlor. Uh, he was related to the Pearly family. He was related through his wife to the Cleves family, and it would have been a very wonderfully public space, and people would have come in to see the minister here, and of course the beautiful murals were what you would look at while you were waiting to talk to the mur to the. Um, minister, we are hoping you will all come down and join us this summer and see our work in progress as we unwrap these wonderful walls and we are putting in an exhibit this summer of the uh, the way in which we moved the house and uh, this being the third time this house has moved. I'm going to also give you just a, a quick reminder to put on your calendar. We have a wonderful week of arts classes on July 31st to August 5th called the Curious Art Series. So. Please look for that. Um, and we have these wonderful bookmarks that will remind you. All you got to do is come in to the uh, office in, or the main um, uh, museum center in the web house right next door. And we will have tours all summer of this building. And you can see the murals as they will be unwrapped. Um, and we're certainly hoping that uh, none of the murals um, will have been damaged at all, but you can come and check it out to make certain that it's all just and the we're way really work, it we're really a work in progress, oh, yeah. so watch our progress as we grow. Mm -hmm. It is actually amazing to think uh, these murals put in about 1823 have proceeded with the house to go from North High, from South High Street back down to Shorey Shore, Park. Yep, to what's now Shorey Park. And then it went up to North High Street, and then in November it came all the way down. This is it. To here, <laughs> yeah, it's not. And it's the first time it's had a real foundation yeah. under it, as a matter of fact, too. When it was originally built, it probably sat on rocks. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking that it's very content to be where it is downtown, uh, across from the library, not far from the historical society, around the corner from Pondicherry Park. Come see us. <laughs> So there you have it. This is going to be a very exciting year for Rufus Porter, and we invite, invite you to come see what's going on. It's going to be a great, great thing. So this has been another episode of At Large in America with Mike Corthell and Carolyn Grimm. See you next time.